Hi, this is Dr. Gaurav Lutra. I am director of the Drishti Eye Institute in Dehradun. Uh, this is one of the leading eye hospitals of uh, the region. And I have been a past president of Intraocular Implant and Refractive Society of India. And I'm currently the chairman academics for the Intraocular Implant and Refractive Society. I have been involved in doing laser correction procedures for almost 20 years now and uh, was one of the early adopters of laser corrective surgery somewhere in the year 2002 and have been training a lot of doctors in not only basic surgery but also with uh, cataract surgery and also in parting lectures and doing life surgery uh, procedures all over the country. Refractive eye surgery is the surgery performed to correct the common problems of the eye which requires a person to wear glasses for example short sightedness, distant sightedness, breast biopia, astigmatism. In refractive eye surgery a laser can be used for correcting the front surface of the transparent layer of the eye by reshaping it and this helps in a person you know, getting rid of the glasses and laser surgery for the eye has been around for many years and has helped millions of people regain their sight uh, without the need for glasses. It helps refocus the rays of light onto the retina and allows clear vision without glasses. Refractive eye surgeries are commonly done for people between the age groups of 18 to 45 years. However, today with advancements in technology, refractive laser eye surgery can be done even till the age of the 60s or 70s, depending on the suitability of the eye. And the surgeon is the best person to guide the patient who needs a refractive surgery, whether he's a suitable candidate for the surgery or not. Broadly, there are three generations of refractive eye surgeries today. The oldest or the PRK or photorefractive keratectomy was the one where we started it. It is still done in a few, a few kinds of patients. The second generation surgery is LASIK, which has again been very popular in the past and remains so today. It stands for laser in situ keratomyosis. And the newest generation of laser correction surgery is SMILE or small incision lenticular extraction, which is done using the femtosecond laser and is the safest and newest form of surgery that we currently perform. SMILE or small incision lenticular extraction is a minimally invasive new generation laser procedure. It's the third generation laser procedure for correcting power of the eyes and this, this is a bladeless and flapless procedure where a keyhole small incision is made on the cornea for removing a small fine lenticule of power which has been created uh, using a femtosecond laser and this is a painless procedure for the patient and allows very quick rehabilitation and recovery for most patients. So relax or refractive lenticule exchange uh, extraction is also the newest generation procedure available today and has been approved by the US FDA a few years back. With SMILE, uh, the interior surface or the front surface of the eye is uh, not disturbed at all. So it allows uh, more comfort to the patient and since the flap is not created, the cornea remains much stronger. So the biomechanical strength of the cornea is maintained. This allows patients quicker recovery, lesser dry eye and the ability to lead an active lifestyle because they can do almost all their activities without the fear of complications of LASIK or other laser procedures like epithelial ingrowth, flap dislocation, flap dry eye. All these are not seen with SMILE and allows a you know, pain-free a healthy experience for the patient so that they can remain healthy for the rest of their lives. Smile is most suitable for patients with myopia or with myopic astigmatism who have had uh, glasses for uh, stable power for at least six months to one year over the age of 18 years and SMILE is ideally suited for those patients, in fact for all patients who are candidates for laser refractive surgery today except those who may not be eligible for SMILE which is a very minuscule uh, percentage of patients. So majority of our patients today who are seeking freedom from glasses will be ideal and eligible for SMILE procedures and can be done easily. Since only one laser is used for the SMILE procedure, the SMILE procedure is typically over in about 5 to 6 minutes for one eye and about 10 to 15 minutes for both eyes. Because unlike LASIK surgery where two lasers are required for the surgical procedure, the patient goes to one laser first and then to the second laser. Here everything is completed in very smoothly using just one Visumax laser and it's very very comfortable for patients and they can you know, be fit within a few minutes and relax and go home within 
how can I go on how to search? Following a smile procedure, you are required to rest for that day. But from next day onwards, most activities are possible with good vision. And uh, while it may take a few days for the proper vision recovery to happen, but 90% visual acuity is recovered even on day one. And the rest required following smiles per surgery is the least amongst all the laser procedures that we typically do like PRK and uh, LASIK. This is because the front surface of the eye is not touched at all. So patients following smile can resume most of their activities including driving, working on the computer within 2-3 days. And eye makeups however should be avoided for about a week. But this is the shortest recovery period amongst all other laser procedures that we like. LASIK or laser in situ keratomyosis is the surgery performed for reshaping the surface of the eye. For this, a surgeon first removes a flap or folds a thin flap of layer of tissue from the cornea. This can be done using a micro keratome or a fine blade, or it can also be done using a cutting laser like the femtosecond laser, which helps shape a flap which is first removed from the surface of the cornea. This exposes the bed of the cornea which requires the laser treatment to correct the part. So the surgeon can then reshape the bed of the cornea which has been exposed using an excimer laser which removes very fine layers of tissue using, uh, thermo, using the uh, laser pulses. And once the desired treatment has been achieved, the flap is repositioned back and it mostly sticks there nicely without requiring any stitches. However, the flap once healed as well is still possible to be uh, you know, occasionally damaged with trauma. So if there may be blood injury to the eye even 5 or 10 years after surgery, the flap can be uh, you know, possibly uh, misplaced uh, from the eye. So the eye has to, the person and patient has to follow certain, certain precautions following surgery even in the long term to protect oneself from injuries. LASIK surgery, which is the second generation uh, procedure, has evolved over the years and has seen several variations in the LASIK process. Uh, while uh, in the beginning there used to be uh, customized LASIK of the kind like the uh, abnormator assistant, but they have gone out of vogue now. Today, we preferably do two forms of LASIK surgeries. One is the wavefront optimized, which helps almost more than 90 to 98 percent of the patients, where a standard good aspheric laser treatment is done. And less than 2 percent of the population who have corneal aberrations, which can be picked up on the topography of the eye, may require a special form of LASIK treatment. Known, known as topography guided or topo guided LASIK. Topo guided LASIK is available on most of the laser platforms today, including the Zeiss uh, topo guided LASIK or from Alcon or the uh, Wavefront or called the Contura uh, LASIK topography guided LASIK and even from other manufacturers like Nitec, which is known as the C LASIK. So, almost all platforms have the option to do a topography guided LASIK, which has been around for almost 10 years, and these can benefit about 2 to 3 percent of patients whose cornea may have more aberrations than others. What is common amongst all LASIK procedures including topographic guided and other uh, forms of uh, LASIK is the creation of the flap as we have discussed before and this flap creation causes a little bit of uh, severing of the corneal nerves all around. It's an 18 to 20 millimeter uh, incision for creating the flap and this can potentially cause dry eye for uh, LASIK patients in the future as well as precautions required for having the flap uh, stay in place uh, properly, so these precautions are necessary for proper healing. PRK or photorefractive keratectomy is a surgery where an examiner laser is used to reshape the surface of the eye. For this, uh, first the epithelium or the, the, the thin layer covering the cornea is removed using a special brush uh, which scrapes off the corneal epithelium and discards it. Following this, a laser is used, the examiner laser, to reshape the surface of the cornea to the desired part. And after this, a contact lens or a bandage contact lens is placed on the surface of the eye for healing for a few days. Typically, patients are uh, you know, able to see well within a week or 10 days and are able to resume their most activities within a week or 10 days. And PRK has been around for many years now and is still performed in select cases. For PRK, apart from a mechanical brush used for removing the epithelium, there are other ways to do it as well which have been used in the past, which includes alcohol or a scalpel or even an epikeratome. However, the newest way of doing this is using a laser itself uh, which removes the surface of the epithelium using the laser known as trans-PRK and this has also become popular today.
Smile or small incision lenticular extraction is a minimally invasive new generation laser procedure. It's a third generation laser procedure for correcting power of the eyes. And this, this is a bladeless and flapless procedure where a keyhole small incision is made on the cornea for removing a small fine lenticule of power which has been created uh, using a femtosecond laser. And this is a painless procedure for the patient and allows very quick rehabilitation and recovery for most patients. So relax or refractive lenticules exchange uh, extraction is also the newest generation procedure available today and has been approved by the US FDA a few years back.